Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about a sorting technique called bubble sort. Bubble sort is one of the simplest sorting technique where it traverses the whole list by comparing its adjacent element, sorting them and swapping the element until the whole list is sorted. The basic concept is to test every element with the succeeding one to check whether the element is in order or not. Let's go back to nostalgic memories of our sports class back in school. Lined up in a random order in front of the teacher, whose task of lining you all up in an ascending order of height. We have all been through this process throughout our childhood. Here, bubble sort algorithms comes in handy. In this case, every person's height is an element of list. With every pass that the teacher goes over the student, they slowly started ascending a more orderly fashion till all of them stand according to height. Now let's take an example. Here we have an unsorted list of 5, 3, 6, 1, 4 as an element. Now we will sort these values with bubble sort algorithm. According to bubble sort algorithm, first we will compare the first and second element. If the first element is greater than second element, so we will swap it. Similarly, we will proceed with the second and third element, that is 5 is greater than 6 or not, which is false. So here we will not swap and array remains same. Now we will proceed to the third and fourth element, which is 6 is greater than 1 or not. So we will swap them. Moving forward, we will check same condition with fourth and fifth element, which is 6 is greater than 4 or not. Here, this condition is true. So we will swap the values. This is the end of first iteration, where largest element reaches its last position. Now, we will move to the second iteration. Proceed with the first and second element. Here, 3 is not greater than 5. So, swapping will not happen and the array remains same. Proceed with the second and third element. Here, condition is true. 5 is greater than 1. We will swap the values. Now proceed with the third and fourth element. Here 5 is greater than 4. So swap both the values. After this iteration, the largest element will be 6 and second largest will be 5. Moving forward to the next iteration and proceed with the first and second element where the condition is true. 3 is greater than 1. So we will swap the values. After doing all the iteration, we can easily see the array is sorted. And because of these iterations, we require two loops. The inner loop will make sure that we get the biggest element at the end. The outer loop will do the same thing repeatedly. And that's what we will do in the code. So let's get started with the code. Here we will define a function bubble sort, which take ARR as an argument. Now we will assign the length of array in variable n. Now take a for loop here. Normally, you can assign any variable name in place of i. Now, we have to think that how many times we have to do this. That's why I use range here and start the range from length of array. So, this line of code runs the bubble sort algorithm n minus 1 times. Define a flag variable that will use to determine if a swap has occurred or not. This is just for optimization purpose. Now, once we got the outer loop, it's time to go for the inner loop. After every iteration, we will get the maximum value at the end and the second last value will be at the second biggest value. So, that's why range will go till i. Now, we need to decide just a simple thing. Should we swap the values or not? So, we will define the condition in inner loop if first value is greater than the second value. If it is greater than swap their position with each other. Here, we are simply checking if the array of j is greater than array of j plus 1. If it is greater than, then we will swap it. Now, the flag variable is assigned to the value 1 to indicate that swap has taken place. To check if the value of variable flag is 0 or not, close an if statement. If the value is 0, then break statement will be called and it is stepped out of the inner loop. Now, here I have assigned my list in variable now call the function and passed array which iterates and return the sorted array. Now let's run this. 
and as you can see that we have got our sorted list now we will have a look on some advantages of bubble sort it is easy to understand it does not require any extensive memory easy to write the code for an algorithm elements are swept in place without using additional temporary storage space requirement is also minimum it performs great when array is almost sorted the time complexity in the best case scenario is o n because it has to traverse through all the elements once to recognize that the array is already sorted so that's all you can find this python code and pseudo code of algorithm in our blog as well leave a comment if you find any difficulty thank you for joining us